Hey everyone. So we're here on, oh my goodness, I almost forgot what the ship name was. We're on Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas, um, a nine night sailing. And we're making this video to pretty much let you know what's going on with COVID in 2024. Uh, so about not even halfway through our trip, my husband started feeling sick. Um, I wanna say about probably day three. Uh, he st I heard that he was like snuff stuffy and coughing and um, he wasn't feeling well. Um, on the morning of day five, he took a COVID test and it was positive. Uh, so we ended up actually self-reporting to the medical staff. And we're here to talk about like what our, the remaining of our trip has been like. So you want to talk about it? Um, so yeah, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, people aren't really talking about like, you know, how COVID is handled now on the ships uh, as, you know, I, I think I saw one little blog about a uh, situation uh, like, tw like towards the end of uh, 2023. So just want to put like more accurate information out there about how it, things happen now. So in my case, you know, I, I my wife, you know, we were, I think we we're about to go out for the day uh, uh, for excursion. And, you know, based on how I was feeling, my wife suggested I take a COVID test. I figured, okay, I'll take the test. I, <laughs> I know I don't have COVID. I did the test, it came back positive. And then we had, we had brought a bunch of tests with us. So I did a different test, a different type of test and did that one and that one came back positive too. So, you know, we, we discussed, I had thrown a mask immediately um, and we discussed what to do. I decided to report, uh, you know, to the medical. So I called medical, uh, they had me come down uh, they no longer, it seems, uh, like do their own testing to confirm. I guess they figure most people, like, there's no reason that somebody's going to say I tested positive for COVID. They didn't actually test positive for COVID. So they didn't actually test me to confirm. They took my word for it that I did a test and tested positive. Uh, they just took my vitals. Uh, they gave, uh, gave medicines. They gave, uh, basically, and this is what I've been seeing that they've been giving out, uh, like basically it's a generic day quill and a generic night quill uh, that they uh, that they give you to take. Um, then they'll uh, have someone from uh, from housekeeping escort you back to the room to start uh, isolation. Um, it seems like they do isolation. Isolation is uh, five days from when you like report to them. So it's not based on you know when you have your own symptoms. It's five days from whenever you report to them. So in our case. That was like throughout the rest of the the, the cruise uh, from that five day time period. Uh, so uh, some of the things that they you know they start you in isolation, which means you're not allowed to leave your room. Oh wait, before you continue, um, I just want to mention that this was no charge to us. The visit to medical was at no charge, so they didn't charge us for the visit down there, checking his vitals, the exam, um, the medications that they gave, the like knock off NyQuil and Zayquil, but no charge for any of that. Yeah, anything COVID related, the uh, medical doesn't charge, uh, you know, you have to sign and they let you know that because it's COVID related that there is no charge for it. Um, so they start the five day uh, isolation period, uh, the things that they let you know, uh, at some point during that first day, uh, the, someone from guest services will give you a call and uh, they'll let you know that uh, one of the first thing is that room service uh, becomes free because you normally don't get room for service for free uh, unless you're uh, in a suite or specifically in a grand suite or above. So uh, for if you're in any other type of room, room service uh, becomes free, which is for breakfast, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, any of the, uh, you know, those in between times that you want to order anything, uh, you no longer get charged for that. Uh, they also give you uh, free internet. So if you don't already have like uh, an internet device, they'll give you one free internet uh, connection. Um, I think the other major thing is that they also will give you a, a future cruise credit for the period that you are on isolation. So uh, in our case, it totals four days of, of our cruise in the way that they calculate it. So we're gonna end up getting a future cruise credit uh, of, for those four days. Uh, to use like on a future cruise. Um, so, I mean, you know, in terms of being isolated to your room for that, uh, for this, you know, that period of time, I guess yeah, it's, you know, it, it's good that they're doing something still for people. 
uh, in cases where that happens. Oh, and um, they also gave full refunds for the excursions that we had booked, which was um, part of, I mean, it, these are all reasons why people should be self-reporting, um, but this is part of it. You know, we wouldn't have gotten back the refund or the money for the excursion that we were about to go out on day five when he tested positive, um, especially, you know, last minute like that on the same day, we wouldn't have gotten the money back. Um, and we also had no another excursion booked um, for another port after that. Uh, so because of COVID and, and you know, saying that he had COVID, um, they gave full refunds for that, not just, um, I believe 50% if you give them, I forget how it works, but, um, they gave full refunds for that. So full refunds for the excursions, like my husband said, you get um, the room service, no charge. Um, and they were like for breakfast, they were charging it. And then they just took the charges back off the account. And um, so everything else, sorry. Um, so <laughs> across those days, um, so basically each day, uh, you're gonna get some phone calls to your room. Basically they're, uh, they're checking up on you to see how you're doing plus they're obviously also checking to make sure that you're in, actually in your room um guest services seems to, there's one person from guest services that gets assigned uh they seem to call anywhere between two to three times a day usually in the morning a little bit after breakfast time uh, sometimes in the middle of the day and then again like sometimes a little bit later in the evening um and then also the uh medical uh the nurse the on-duty nurse will also call uh one time a day as well uh, to check up on you to make see if you need any any additional of the medications that they provided uh, to ask they'll also ask you about your your current symptoms like how you're feeling uh, if your symptoms are the same if they they change or anything like that um, they don't require you to go back down uh, during any of that period um, the other thing is that I know at one time they were uh, requiring this the other person in the room to like get tested I think at one point it was like every other day they don't do anything like that. So they just initially asked if my wife had any symptoms um, and she didn't uh, when I originally like reported to them. So, you know, they just, that was the only question in terms of that. So she was still free to, you know, to move about and, and do her, everything uh, on the ship. Like, you know, she's pretty much been going out to get our drinks, to get drinks for the room or anything like that. Um, but, uh, and I think the last thing is uh, the debarking, uh, which we're doing tomorrow morning. Um, so we don't put out our luggage. Uh, they like give us a specific time that someone's gonna like walk us off the ship. Uh, so in our case, eight, uh, supposed to be about 8.15 in the morning. Uh, so they will call us a little bit before that. So we don't uh, have to put our luggage out. Uh, someone will take us uh, and walk us off. We don't know specifically how that process itself is gonna work. Like if they're gonna, you know, put the luggage on a cart or anything like that. Um, once we, you know, know more about that, we'll, We'll add the those those extra details um so i think uh yeah i think i think that's yeah i'm that's hoping to everything. video that portion in the morning if possible um the only other thing i believe is um i wanted to address we happen to have the ultimate ultimate or unlimited, yeah, dining, unlimited package. dining package uh so we were eating in like chops and giovanni's and azumi every night um so we didn't know what to do when this happened uh, so we spoke to customer service and we asked, do we get a refund or um, can they just deliver the food to the room, which is fine with us. And um, so they had the, I guess, specialty dining or chops they manager. The, the chops there. manager basically uh, handled it and, and took care of us still being able. He actually called us every day, uh, like around between 5, 530 and took to find out which restaurant we wanted to order from. And then he would uh, put in the order from that specialty restaurant and have room service pick it up and deliver to our room. Because as it so happens on this particular ship on and all the smaller ships, um, you normally can't get the specialty dining like delivered to your room. Like in suites, you can normally uh, have the main dining room uh, stuff delivered to your, to your room, but uh, only on the larger ships, if you're a star class, you can have specialty, but like on, you know, the Explorer of the Seas and, and these size ships, that's not a normal thing. So that was something extra that they, that they took care of like in terms of allowing us to, to still get our uh, food from the specialty dining. Yeah, so every night we've been able to order, continue to order Giovanni's or Chops. Um, and you know, they take the full order. And um, 
I will say the first day or so was a little bit hectic. Like, it sounds like it's not something that they've really dealt with. I mean, my guess is that most people don't have the dining package. And then on top of that, you're adding a COVID case to it. So I'm sure, you know, the people that do tend to test positive and get um, isolated, maybe haven't had the dining package. So um, it is something that, you know, they were able to work out. I think they were a little confused on how to do it, but um, it just it worked out, like my husband said. So they were taking the order and um, room the room service staff would just go pick up the food at the restaurant and bring it to us. And it was always hot. Um, everything was there, no problems. And we always happen to have a balcony. That's the type of room that we pick. And um, we happen to be in a junior suite. So we have the balcony and we've been having breakfast, lunch, and dinner outside on the balcony. So um, it stinks that he's been stuck in the room, but you know, overall, luckily we have a decent sized room and a, and a balcony. So we get to go outside and uh, have fresh air. And um, I haven't left the room too much because I'm used to being with him. So. <laughs> um, so really in, you know, in the States, the United States, um, the way it's working right now with the CDC is that like after, I think you would normally try to quarantine yourself and wear a mask for five days. Um, so like we said on the ship, they're not going by your first symptoms. They're going by the day that you test positive or report to them. So, um, really he wouldn't be wearing a mask at this point and he would be able to go out um but it just so happened that the five days lead us to our um debarkation day tomorrow um on royal side so you know based on their days um so he hasn't been able to leave the room since the morning of day five um and that's pretty much it so we just wanted to let you all know how it's working um, I plan to take a video in the morning of us getting off the ship and how that all works. Uh, if I can't get a video during it, I'll, we'll try to record something afterwards. Uh, anything else? Yeah, nope, I that's think everything. that's pretty much it. Yeah, everything's been great. Um, oh, and the room steward, I almost forgot. The room steward, I think, is the only other thing. They did let him know that, um, that my husband tested positive with COVID, so he hasn't bothered us like to come in the room i we never really asked him if he felt comfortable coming in the room we just never i mean we're not leaving the room we didn't ask him to come in but he will whenever he sees us open the door to put like the food tray out um he'll ask if we need anything at all he'll tell us to call him or let him let him know if we need anything so yeah, everything's been fine with that um anything else i think that's it that's everything all right. Thank you guys. If you like this video and, uh, and want to hear more from us, like and subscribe. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Uh, so we just got off of the Explorer of the Seas and we wanted to continue telling you how the COVID protocol went for 2024. Um, so they knocked on our door around 830 in the morning to take us down. We didn't have to put out our luggage the night before. Um, so the guy came, he knocked on our door, we had all of our luggage ready, um, and then we were hoping that they would bring one of those carts with the wheels to put all our luggage on. But um, they did not. They did not, no. So but we the had The guy did to... help uh, take the luggage along with the, uh, the room steward. Uh, him and the room steward helped uh, move all the luggage from the room down over to the elevator uh, to, uh, to take. Uh, and then once we got the elevator, it was just the guy who, who came to the door. Uh, and he took us down in the elevator to uh, to the first, uh, to deck one. It was a pain in the butt because the, obviously the hallways are carpeted and we had like four bags and they were kind of heavy. So, you know, it was a pain in the butt compared to normally we would put out our luggage the night before and they would take it and we would just meet it down in the terminal. So, you know, having to deal with it in the hallways, getting on the elevator. I also thought he might swipe his card and take us down in the elevator privately, but he didn't do that either. So he kind of like squeezed us in with other passengers into the elevator and our luggage. So that was kind of uncomfortable. Um, but once we got to the first floor, so we actually bypassed, I think everybody else was going to floor five or uh, three? Four. Four. Um, so all the passengers were going to four to disembark. Um, so he took us straight down to floor one, which is normally where you get off at ports. 
Uh, so you would normally, you know, um, swipe your card and get off the, the ship at ports on floor one. So he took us down to one and there was a couple other people down there already with their masks on and their luggage. So we figured, obviously this is where they're um, putting all the COVID people. So uh, we waited there for a little bit. I did, it was hard for me to video because of just the chaos of it and having to handle the luggage ourselves and, and everything. So I did get a picture of it, which I'll, I'll add to the video. Uh, so we were just waiting down at, uh, on floor one and then eventually they took us around to where you get, would normally get off the ship at a port, which is kind of like the security area where you walk through like a security gate thing and swipe your card and get off the ship. So they already, they had a customs person right there. Look at our passports. They said we were good to go. Uh, we walked on that, um, what would you call it? Like a plank or a, whatever you call it. Um, uh, well, a little gangway thing. There gangway, you know. yes. Thank you. Um, so the gangway. So we swiped our card to get off and we uh, walked across the gangway. It seemed to be where the, I guess, the other crew were coming on for the ship. Um, so it's not normally where the passengers get off, obviously. So we went off there and it was kind of like straight. We bypassed the terminal. So we had a private customs person look at our passport. We got off the ship. We crossed the gangway. And then we just had to walk through like a little gate, um, which took us straight to the front of the terminal and uh, right where the taxis and everything are. So we just wanted to let you know how that worked. Um, it was kind of chaotic because they didn't handle our luggage for us. So I would think that, you know, if you really are still sick or tired, um, you know, there were older people that obviously had COVID because um, they had their masks on, they walked with us. And I think for them, it was also hard handling their own luggage. And um, anybody that's had the flu or COVID, you know that you get tired. So, you know, I was a little disappointed in that, but otherwise we bypassed going through the terminal. <laughs> Sorry, holding the phone in the car. So we bypassed going to the terminal and, um, you know, I guess it was good and bad, both good and bad. So we just wanted to let you know that they had the procedures and how it worked. Um, did I miss anything? I think that's it. All right, thank you guys, bye.